name's George Bennett from New Zealand. Um, been racing on a road bike since I was 17, I guess, 16 maybe. Um, but it started on the mountain bike, so um, I guess in total nearly 15 years now. Wow, that's way too long, wait, 13 years. If I could go back and tell myself back then, if I knew then what I knew now, um, I'd say brace yourself. Um, it's a long few years getting out of New Zealand and just, if I knew I was going to turn pro, it would have made those, those early years in France as an amateur a lot easier. Um, but I think in general, just enjoy it and, and just be grateful for all the places you get to go and all the places you get to see. And uh, I think I'm realising now just how much of the world I've seen and how much I wouldn't have seen if I, if I wasn't doing what I was doing. My first race was actually here in America. I just, I was riding for Livestrong, Axel Merckx's team, now Action, and I got the call up to Radio Shack at the time to ride uh, Utah and Colorado. We rode them with Levi, and it was the first time I met um, Phil Liggett and Paul Sherwin, and they were commentating, and they were the guys I'd grown up watching cycling, and, and they were interviewing me on stage, and I was standing there looking at like Jens Vogt and all these guys that were just like, I think Andy Schleck was there, and it was just a, you know, a surreal thing. and. Um, yeah, I still kind of get a little bit of that feeling when I come back to, to the same races and back to America. It always brings me back to, the, to think about those times. I think I just really, I keep coming back to, to California because I just, I've always enjoyed it, you know. Even when I've been, been bad, I've had a lot of, you know, I've been good, I've been bad, but it's always a good week. It's always fun. It's always, well, I say always, it's, it's often good weather. Um, great people. It's, it's just an escape from the, you know, from the, monotony sometimes it can be Europe where you're just on the bus to the next one and it just breaks it up and also you know it allows me to I you know I personally feel it sets me up quite well for for the races to come a lot of people don't like it in combination with, with the Tour de France but they normally do a, a big race in between as well but for me it, it just I, I like the how it set, sets me up when I stop racing um, I'm sure that's going to be a pretty difficult time I have no doubt I mean I, it's something for some reason I think about occasionally when uh, when I'm um, when I'm riding and, and I think you know I'd love to be involved in the sport somehow in in some capacity and maybe maybe as a coach or maybe as you know like I know how hard it was for me to get out of New Zealand as a young guy um, so maybe doing something to help that pathway for young guys trying to get out of New Zealand trying to make a pro, set up some kind of development system there. And, um, but you know, there's a lot of other things I want to do outside of cycling that I, that I, that I can't do now, you know. And uh, as much as the sport's given me, it's also particularly limiting in some ways and a lot of things I want to tick off. Cycling has given me um, a huge amount of things, definitely a perspective on, um, you know, a very worldly view or, or at least a way to, you know, a reference on, on how the rest of the world operates. Um, it's probably also given me a bit of a skewed reality on, on what is reality. I mean, I sometimes think that this is normal and that, that just riding your bike and going from hotel to hotel is a normal thing. And, and that, can, that can be quite strange when you step back to at the end of the season and go, wow, that was a, a bizarre year. Um, but you know, I've met great people. Um, it's taught me a lot about myself, about how to suffer, how to um, deal with with things going wrong and um, yeah, I think I've got a lot more to learn, that's for sure. There's a lot of things I'd love to do that I, I can't do as a, as a bike rider but the things I guess that go hand in hand that help me get away from cycling but still enable it is like playing my guitar, you know, you don't have to be on your legs, spend a lot of time around music, um, spend a lot of time, well, I should spend more time. I try and, you know, try and pick up languages or things like that. Um, and just try and do things that, you know, you can do while you're recovering or, or whatever, but, you know, it is easy to fall into the trap of just riding your bike and then just blobbing out and then blob out too much and you don't really achieve anything. You know, learning what goes into a race is something I kind of have a new appreciation for when, uh, you know, we looked at getting the national champs to, to Nelson and the amount of work just for that for one day was, was monstrous and it was too much for us. We didn't, we didn't put the bid in. So when you think about what it takes to, to run a race like Tour of California or Tour de France or something, you know, how many people there are, I mean, there's how many people in this room right now. Um, just for this, I mean, it's, 
you realise how big of an operation it is. And yeah, I mean, it's it's great, and I'm glad that that people are able to make it a profitable for both both parties, and it, it can really grow the sport. Going home for me to, to New Zealand, I mean, it's it's very refreshing because um, I think I'm very fortunate because I've come from a world where you know none of my parents rode bikes, none of my family are cyclists. 95% of my close friends aren't cyclists or know anything about it so we go back there and they couldn't care if I if I win the tour or come last or don't even ride it you know it's just they treat me as as I am irrelevant to how well I'm riding a bike which doesn't always happen in the cycling world and um, I find it really refreshing and uh, it is funny sometimes you know when, when they do chuck in a bit of commentary on on you know they still follow my cycling and they're really supportive but um, no, I, I like it being a separate thing for me. It gives me, um, you know, it, it makes it easy to stay mentally fresh with, around cycling.